Hi Kitty Cats, today is May 9th, 2024, and I want to complete my response to Drummer Loves Bookworm 9738 regarding regret after a vaginoplasty. Now my first video talked about everything that it takes to get up to surgery, and I did that because I want to make it clear this is a complicated process. WPATH guidelines recommend at least one year of hormone replacement therapy, and there are still some surgeons who will recommend at least one year of living as your preferred gender. And this is just to be approved for surgery. Now, I've had two consultations in my life, and both surgeons were so extensive in explaining the surgery, what it took to get there, what was going to happen during it, and what happened afterward. If you have questions, that's going to be the time to talk about it, because this is a serious decision, obviously. Now, regarding what happens afterward, there is one major part of vaginoplasty maintenance, and that is called dilation. Dilation means inserting usually a plastic tool into the neovaginal canal. And the point of this is to stretch it longer and stretch it wider. The neovaginal canal is somewhat of an open wound for the rest of your life. So dilation becomes a lifetime commitment. Now, the commitment reduces with time, but the protocol for the first year is three times a day for 30 minutes. So every eight hours, you are expected to dilate. It does reduce, but it's not something that uh, you get to stop. Now, these are all WPATH guidelines. Will you find a surgeon who operates outside of WPATH guidelines? Maybe. And if so, you need to be even more careful. Well, I hope that this video was informative. Please like it and share it, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!